Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit. Today I'm making a quick and easy chili cheese dip that's perfect for the big game, parties, or any occasion. It's meaty, it's cheesy, there's no cutting or chopping involved, and it's made with simple ingredients from my pantry and fridge. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by browning some 80-20 ground beef. This is obviously store-bought ground beef, and I made this video before I bought my grinder and started grinding my own meat. I don't want to beat a dead horse about the grinder because I know they're not practical for everyone, and everyone doesn't want or need one. But if you've ever thought about buying a grinder, stop thinking and go ahead and buy one. Depending on what you want and need, they're not that expensive. I got a quarter horsepower grinder for $60. The quality, taste, and texture are far superior to store-bought ground beef. And you also know exactly what's in it, and you can also eat it rare or medium rare, something I would never do with store-bought ground beef. Once the ground beef is thoroughly browned, drain the excess grease. Then add tomato juice. And like I said, I'm using everything that's in my cabinet. If you don't have tomato juice, you can use tomato sauce, tomato puree, or even diced tomatoes. A can of pinto beans with the juice. Give it a quick mix. Then add chili powder. Cumin, granulated garlic, dehydrated minced onion, salt, and black pepper. Give it all a good mix. Then add 12 ounces of beer. Then give it a good mix, bring it up to a boil, then reduce the heat to medium low and let it simmer for 30 minutes uncovered. After simmering for 30 minutes, give it a mix and roughly mash up some of the beans. That'll help thicken up the mixture and make it somewhat creamy like refried beans. Then add pickled jalapenos and I added them towards the end of the cook so they didn't get mushy and disintegrate. If you want to use fresh jalapenos, I would add them right after you brown the ground beef. Then give it a good mix and you can see how nice and thick it's getting. Then mix in some freshly shredded cheddar cheese. Then once that cheese is mixed in, add more cheddar cheese on top. Then this goes into a preheated 375 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until nice and bubbly and golden brown. And here's where things almost went downhill. There's good tortilla chips and then there's bad ones. I obviously got the bad one. These small cheap tortilla chips were too fragile, you ready for this? To cut the cheese. Ladies and gentlemen, like I've told you before, I'll be here all week and there was an easy fix to prevent the chips from breaking. Just mix everything together. Once everything was mixed together, the small, cheap, fragile chips worked just fine. And these chips certainly prove size does matter. This chili cheese dip was simple, easy, and delicious, and everything was made in one skillet, so that makes for an easy cleanup. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try, and if you do, buy quality chips. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.